ਹਰਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਦੇ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਹਾਰਦਿਕ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਹਿੱਸੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਨੇ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਡੈਨੀਅਲ ਮਾਰਕ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਡੈਫ ਰੀਜਨਲ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਕੰਸਰਨ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਤੋਂ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਦੋਸਤ ਆਓ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਦੋਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਹੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈਨੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕੰਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਹਰਪੀਟ ਫॉर ਇਨਵਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਟੂ ਸਪੀਕ ਔਨ ਯੂਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਮੋਸਟ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਤੋਂ ਡੈਨੀਅਲ ਆਪਣੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਮੇ ਹਮੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਸਾ ਬਤਾਈਏ ਕਿ ਆਪ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਮੇ ਪਿਛਲੇ 32 ਸਾਲ ਸੇ ਰਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਬਹੁਤ ਲੰਬਾ ਸਫਰ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਇਹ ਤੋ ਡੈਫ ਰੀਚ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਸੰਸਥਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨ ਬੱਚੋਂ ਕੇ ਲਈ ਜੋ ਸੁਣ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਤੇ ਉਹਨਕੇ ਲਈ ਆਪ ਕਾਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੈ ਆਪ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਕੈਸੇ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਆ ਆਈ ਕੇਮ ਟੂ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਇਨ 1986 ਸੋ ਇਸ ਵਕਤ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਬਤਾਇਆ ਕਿ ਜੀਲ ਖੂਨ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਸੇ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਜੀਲ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਸੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਐਂਡ ਓਕੇ ਨੋ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਕੈਰੀ ਔਨ and i came to pakistan in 1986 after spending 5 years in india okay i was invited by some colleagues there and i met an american gentleman by the name of richard right and his wife heidi whose eldest son was deaf okay and when they started working with the deaf community in the early to mid 90s they realized that there's a lack there's a gap in this educational system for young adults okay so starting very humbly in some small rented rooms Today we have a network of 7 schools which is located in Karachi in Hyderabad Pakistan mm-hmm. Nawab Shah Sakkar uh, Tandolayar Lahore and Jhelum okay it reaches 1200 children who comes to school every day right we have a pick and drop okay up to 50 km radius of the school okay we provide kg to ba okay a uh, bachelor of arts for our students right providing the lunch the uniform the books 50 oh something very interesting i think you would like to hear that and so are your viewers is that mm-hmm. 50% of our teaching staff are deaf okay that's interesting and 50% of our managers uh-huh. are also deaf okay you see we believe uh, harpeet as you will see in the documentary at the end of the program mm-hmm. that for us deaf is not a handicap right if you were to come visit our schools and you are trying to communicate with the children mm-hmm. then who's handicapped right see Absolutely. so a handicap is just a language very true we'll talk in details about what all you do so dostum aap bataiye ki ye jo aapki sanstha hai human concern international ye kya hai aur aap kaise associate rahe hain deaf ear ke sath that's very interesting um maine human concern to join kiya last week actually okay um Human Concern International is just like any other humanitarian organization. Okay. And they have various projects that they uh, support and fund. So Daniel's project is one of the projects that uh, he reached out to Human Concern International okay. some years back. And HCI started funding it, right? Right. raising funds in Canada mm-hmm. and starting funding it. They have their own, um, pro- uh, some other programs as well. Mm-hmm. For example, orphanage programs, you know, building uh, water wells. uh you know providing uh emergency relief in over 40 countries okay right? and they have their own initiatives as well for example right. you know th- this one SCI member he a uh, member he actually launched his uh, own initiative mm-hmm. in, in Pakistan Gee. what he d- what they do is that uh, to poor women who do not have any source of income right they provide them sewing machine mm mm-hmm. provide them uh, provide them set of skills you know right. in, in that uh, in that area mm-hmm. and also get them employed in the same uh, in the same area of industry okay so they have various projects that they they fund they have their own initiatives okay. and right. annual project is one of them so deaf reach is one of the programs which yeah. you assist okay. actually we're very grateful because we've been partnering since 2012 right. so it's, we're building lives together okay so daniel uh, when we talk about deafness in pakistan or india also uh do you have some statistics which can point out as to uh, how many children are 
uh, deaf in Pakistan or in general terms, uh, do you have some uh, knowledge about that? Yes. In general term around the world, it's about 2 to 3 percent. Okay. In the subcontinent, it's a little bit higher, up to 5 percent. Okay. And in Pakistan, there's over 1 million deaf children. Mm -hmm. And out of that, only maybe 5 percent attend school. Right. So the level of deafness is a little higher than other countries. Right. That's due to the people in the villages area do not have access to health care. Right. For example, if your child has meningitis, which mm -hmm. is curable, but your you as a parent don't know that's meningitis, right. then your child can become deaf. Okay. So that's one of the causes. The other right. cause is genetic. Mm -hmm. It's a recessive gene. Okay. Now in 86 when you went to Pakistan and before that you spent five years in India, now what was that thing which brought you into this field that it was Richard's son as you said who was deaf but uh, how did you get involved and then going to Pakistan and starting a new initiative uh, what were the kind of challenges what you faced over there? Okay so I started working in, this, in the field of social development because someone helped me in my life in right. Canada. Right. I'm from Montreal okay. so as a youth I needed some direction, some guidance mm -hmm. which I received and I was very grateful for right. and it put me in a new path in mm -hmm. my life in service for others right. and this is where from there I went to Europe, to India and now in Pakistan. Okay, so again uh, you started off with uh, not a school but you went over there, you were not acquaintance with anyone and you started off working over there. So take us to that period as to how were you able to pacify the people over there that I want to open up a institute or a school for deaf children. Um, when I came to Pakistan I was doing other other projects okay. in the field of education. Right. It's when I met Richard, mm -hmm. and he had his son who was deaf. Right. That I realized we realized, wow, there's a lot that can be done here. We mm -hmm. can serve the people, and the people in Pakistan are very kind, very generous, and they understood our cause. And this is why 90% of our funding is locally raised. Okay. So when Richard's son wanted to interact with other deaf young adults, he mm -hmm. realized, whoa. They can't read or write English. Right. And this was the day before technology, mm -hmm. so they had they were not aware of the current events or basic uh, facts about the world. Mm -hmm. So he used to carry suitcases full of books and pens and papers and teach them the basic and to help these youngsters right. get better jobs. Okay. So uh, Human Care International, which not only inki deaf reach ko support karta hai, aur bhi initiatives karta hai. But when we talk about deaf reach, do you send them to the funds or the equipment? How does this work work? It's more, mostly funding. Okay. And uh, I should have mentioned that, that uh, HCI is actually headquartered in Ottawa. Okay. They have offices in uh, Toronto and Montreal. Right. So they're looking to open up, uh, and they just recently opened up in, uh, in Edmonton. Okay. And they're you know, looking to open up one more office in Vancouver. Okay. So, and that's the idea, you know, they, they find projects like Daniel's project, their right. Reach program, and they try to raise fundings from Canada. Right? Wonderful. Because it's a Canadian. Okay, let's go for a break. We'll be back and learn more about what all is taught in the school and how your schools are different from others and how the lives of thousands of children are being changed. We'll talk, I'll talk about this after this short break. Professional courteous customer service lead Janya Janda hai Taj Park Convention Center. Jete to see Satso to lake, Baraso Victali birthday, anniversary, bridal shower, engagement, wedding or office party, exhibitions, product launches, the corporate events karwasak deho. Kupsurat interior the Behetrin amenities, Lajwab Khana, friendly staff, spacious banquet hall, fully parking to Anute, Himelegi, at the eighth order, best possible experience of Vega. Aji apna agla program ite krao. Once again, welcome back to the program. Today, this program which Daniel Mark and his friends are talking about how the deaf reach of the world is in Pakistan. There are thousands of children who can hear and 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 hear. So before the break, you said lots of schools are being run at seven places. Uh, but what is unique in your schools? Uh, you say it's a holistic uh, model which you adopt and try to impart education to the deaf children. So please explain in details as to what processes are adopted and how do you carry on. So when we open a school, uh, the deaf community is scattered. Right. So every children have a right to education. Right. Accessibility is another issue. Mm -hmm. This is why within the 50 kilometer radius of our school, we have met the parents and then we provide the transport and bring the children on a daily basis. Okay. 
and the children learn all the subjects, uh, Harpreet, because they have to appear before the board of exams. Okay. So they appear with the, on par right. with their peers, with the hearing peers, okay. and they pass with very good mark. Right. And actually, our children, oftentimes they're illiterate. Just think, if you have a son or a daughter, mm -hmm. and you're from a small village, right. let's say outside of Shikarpur, and he became deaf or was born deaf, mm. what access to education does he have? Right. How can the parents communicate with their child? Mm -hmm. It can be a very traumatic situation, and it's right. like this for the rest of your life. I'll use an example. You and I go to China tonight. Mm -hmm. We get dropped in the middle of China. Right. For the rest of our lives, they oh, will yeah. never learn English or Urdu or Hindi or whatever, right. and we will never learn their language. So mm -hmm. how are we going to live? Right. It doesn't make for a very happy life. Mm -hmm. So, But then we will bring your child to a very nicely set up and mm -hmm. operational schools. Right. And we will bring you as a parent mm -hmm. on alternate Saturday to come and learn the sign language. Okay. So that's what makes us different is that we bring also the entire family. Wonderful. And participate. Okay. And what we have done also, we were able to document the existing sign language. Okay. Which was about 2,500 signs. Mm -hmm. Added an extra 4,000 signs to it that okay. were not existing before. Mm -hmm created hundreds and hundreds of videos, including stories. Okay. Kids love stories, mm -hmm. but who will tell them a story in sign language if they're deaf? Mm. And 90% of our students come from hearing families. Right. So nobody can tell them stories. We made stories also. And all that has been put on a phone app okay. called Pakistan Sign Language, PSL, not to be confused with Pakistan Super League. <laughs> Okay. And it's available on the internet. Right. And for those who don't have access to internet, we're able to get a grant from Google. Right. Put all these resources on a small computer mm -hmm. and distributed 1,000 computers for free. Right. In 265 locations across the country, reaching another 25 to 30,000 deaf children. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Really commendable. So you're using technology also, and yeah. then you are imparting information to the youngsters and also involving the community also. Yes. So uh, again, you know, as one million children in Pakistan are deaf, uh, you are uh, being able to make small, small dent and you have initiated these measures. But where does all this money come from? Because you are providing free uh, education to these children and the uh, families are also being involved. So is it like organizations like HCI that provide all the funds or you as said, you raise local funds also and everything is done on donations? That's always a question that we scratch our head. Where is the money gonna come from, right, for right. next year? <laughs> uh -huh. So um, Pakistan people have been very kind, very mm -hmm. generous, very philanthropic. Once they see the project, the transparency, the financial management, the system delivery, right. the internal governments mm -hmm. of the organization, 90% of our funding is from Pakistan. Right. In the last few years, I've been coming to Canada, meeting the Pakistani diaspora in Montreal, Ottawa, Calgary, Edmonton. And it's my first visit in Vancouver, and it's proven to be very, very productive. Right. Uh, then it adds up to the budget. Mm -hmm. The parents do contribute. Um, our cost per year per mm -hmm. student is 900 Canadian dollars, okay. which is not much considering it's a transportation, mm -hmm. the uniform, the lunch, education, the teacher salary, all inclusive, okay. including bringing the parents. Right. And the parents give us anywhere between 150 to 500 pack rupees. Okay. One, between one and five dollars, let's just say, per month. Okay. So they give us 60 to 70 to 80 dollars per month, and the rest we have to come from the local contribution from the Pakistani community right. in Pakistan or abroad. And in case even some families are not able to afford even that one to five dollar, can they Moved. be admitted? Moved. Okay. Wonderful. So HCI ki jo aap dekhte hain ye jo kaam kar rahe hain aur jaise aapne kaha ki aap support karte hain kyunki pehli baar ab Daniel yahan pe Vancouver mein aaye hain aapka kya proposal hai how are you thinking of expanding this further to involve the community so that they can help out uh, deaf reach um, so part of my job as a as an HCI representative is to engage the community right and that's right. what all the representatives in all the cities do mm -hmm. so they gain, they engage with the community right they make them aware of this project, you know, the significance of this project mm -hmm. or other projects, right? And they, uh, so for example, uh, two days ago, Daniel met with the, with some of the communi uh, Pakistani community leaders. Right. And they want to do something right away. Right. They want to, you know, they want to support this cause in any shape or form. Right. right? And one of the usual mm -hmm. ways. So basically, HCI is adding, uh, working as a bridge between uh, deaf reach and the community at large. The overseas community, Wonderful. Yes. So now, what are the plans? Uh, how are you planning for further years? Seven schools have been established. Uh, what are your future plans? Very good. Actually, our 
greatest concern is what we're going to leave behind. Right. Because we're getting older every day, pretty mm -hmm. uh, hard deep. There's nothing we can do about that. Mm -hmm. But the developing of resources for the teachers, the parents, their family in Pakistan sign language mm -hmm. that we can put in digital format, that right. will be available on the internet, that we can keep adding to the current computer mm -hmm. is our greatest concern. So we made some appeal to different international agencies for funding mm -hmm. to be able to develop the entire curriculum, okay. entire syllabus in Pakistan sign language for all subjects. Okay. So that if you have a group of deaf students anywhere mm -hmm. and the teacher does not have the resources, right. it can just turn on the computer mm -hmm. and it shows. Wonderful. Uh, in this pamphlet what you have given, you also find you provide scholarships, vocational training, parent training, job placement also. Yeah, that's right. Teacher training and educational resources are being created. That's right. So as you said now, the focus is going to be to further expand and bring in more students who can get the benefit of this. Correct. Uh, Urdu, I Pakistan, और वहाँ पे आप आजकल के जमाने में हर कोई कहता है कि हम वेस्ट की तरफ भागें पर आप ईस्ट की तरफ भाग रहे हैं तो इतने सालों से आप वहाँ पे रह रहे हैं तो तो वहाँ पर क्या ऐसी चीज़ है जो आपको वहाँ पे रखती है और आप इस नए काम में लगे हुए हैं Oh, okay. I'll have to say this in English. So okay, he says, sure. What are you doing in Pakistan? Right. How come you've been there so long? Uh -huh. I said, I've been kidnapped. <laughs> I say yes, by the Memana Wazi. <laughs> right, wonderful. <laughs> People have been very kind, and I don't see that any changing. You know, we feel very comfortable. Right. Yes, there are law and order situation, mm -hmm. but that's part of any big, large city in Absolutely. anywhere around the world. Absolutely, wonderful. Uh, we feel very comfortable in Pakistan. I have, my children were born there, grew right. up in Pakistan. I don't think that's not going to change. Wonderful, Daniel. It was a pleasure talking to you, but before I let you go, because after the break, we're going to see the documentary of what all happens in these schools. Any website where people can go and learn more about uh, Yes, well, thank you, Harpreet. I want to say thank you very much for having Welcome. us on your show. You can go to www.defreach.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here and best wishes for your further initiatives. And we are proud that uh, still in, we have people like you who want to serve humanity with the, whatever way you can. Thank you and best wishes. Bahut shukriya. Thank you.